Hi, welcome to the Light of Deception. Today I want to round up the isms related to mysticism. And I think it's really important to talk about one facet that I haven't talked about yet. And then I'm gonna go over the, the isms I've already covered. So this one is paganism. This will bring all the religions in that I've already talked about under mysticism all together. So what is paganism? Paganism. The original pagans were followers of an ancient religion that worships several gods. Today, pagan is used to describe someone who doesn't go to synagogue, church, or mosque. It would be that they worship several gods at once, or they have no interest in a god at all. In addition, another phase of um, paganism definition is a person who worships many gods or goddesses or the earth or nature. A person whose religion is paganism, old-fashioned, plus often offensive. A person who is not religious or whose religion is not Christianity, Judaism, or Islam. So the full definition for pagan is the English language learning. This is where it came from, the English language Lear learning dictionary. Now I'm going to be looking at paganism and spirituality. Paganism, what is it? Paganism has been broadly defined as anyone involved in any religious act, practice, or ceremony which is not Christian. Okay, we're back for the isms related to deception series. I'm gonna go ahead and cover what I've already covered on the sites thus far, and then we're gonna move forward and I'll tell you what we're going on to next in the isms today as related to socialism, as related to Marxism, as related to communism. So we've already covered those aspects, starting with the social gospel, going into social justice, talking about being a social change agent and a Christian socialist and covered some of the rules for radicals and um, with Sal Alinsky's book out there and then Communist Manifesto and then um, covered the Georgia Guidestones. I think that's really important. Um, if you can read that on the site, the, there's three th ways that you can look at the series that I've already passed. You can be, um, go to the Light of Deception YouTube channel and subscribe there. They're all there for you to see. Or you can go onto the site, thelightofdeception.com, and you can go under my segments, and then there's going to be all of them um, backing up. Um, you can watch it there, or you can watch it as a series, which is kind of nice. Um, it's under the PowerPoints on the site as well. It's under PowerPoint segments, and then it'll show you that I talked about how that Christianity has bought into world transformation by introducing um, all these social aspects into... Um, socialism, Christian socialism, and how we are moving away from just the gospel, moving into more social community centers and those kind of things, living out loud in community and unity, um, talking a little bit about joining hands with interfaith dialogue, those kind of things. And then jumped over to mysticism. We covered already what occultism is, what is and what is an ism, um, the definition of that, um, what is mysticism, what is meditation, and we covered Buddhism, and Hinduism. Then I moved into Kabbalah, which is uh, the mysticism related to Judaism. Then I went into Catholicism, and after Catholicism, we talked about Mormonism and transhumanism. Sometimes those two things collide because Mormons are involved in transhumanism, not as a whole, but a majority of them. Then I talked about, after that, uh, went into what ecumenism is and universalism. Then I got into pantheonism and panantheonism and talked about the two difference between the two of those. And then talked about New Ageism and Enlightenism. And then we're going to close it with paganism. And that's going to be a, kind of the bridge leading back to now we're going to go into political isms. So we're jumping back. I'm going to be talking about fascism, totalitarianism. Those are going to be today. After that, um, we're going to get into more of a liberal theology type of stuff. So liberalism, liberalism, communitarianism, talk a little bit about capitalism and progressivism. And then we're going to be talking about, after that, environmentalism. That's going to have its own segment. There's a lot to cover under the environmental movement. 
and then close it by talking about biblicalism, standing on the literal word for, of God, chapter by chapter, verse by verse, from cover to cover, end to end. That's all you need. Then, so right now, we're going to get right into the jumping off point. Um, we already covered paganism, so we're going to jump right back into the politicalisms. Okay, we're going to be looking at fascism and totalitarianism today. Here are the breakdowns. I always hear in my mind the most important thing is to define your terms and then bring them back together so you can put all the threads together to paint a bigger picture. So here we are. Okay, uh, fascism, any ideology or movement inspired by the Italian fascism, such as German National Socialism, any right-wing nationalist ide ideology or movement with an authoritarian or hierarchical structure that is fundamentally opposed to democracy and liberalism. Any ideology movement program propaganda, tendency, etc., that may be characterized as right-wing, chauvinistic, authoritarian, etc. Okay, I'm seeing here. Also, here's another part. It says, number one, often capitalized a political philosophy movement or regime that exalts nation and often race above the individual and the stand of the centralized autocratic government headed by a dictatorial leader. A okay, definition of totalitarianism. Number one, centralized control by an autocratic authority. Two, the political concept that the citizen should be totally subject to an absolute state authority quote, totalitarian, first, relating to the system of government that is centralized in data and requires complete subservience to the state, a totalitarian regime. Okay, um, here's a little bit more. A person advocating a totalitarian system or government right so i want to give you kind of some sentences here like fascism from the first hour of hitler's invasion of the soviet union the propagandist of both sides of the conflict portrayed the struggle in stark and this was the language back there so man itchian manichaean if i'm saying that right Okay, so then totalitarianism, this is part of the sentence as well, the totalitarian nation of both regimes made this inevitable. On one side stood Hitler, fascism. The myth of German supremacy, on the other hand, stood Stalin, communism, and the international proletarian revolution so there you go that is the two i think it's important to realize that a lot of these things have already happened so obviously we know that hitler and stalin what it looks like to be under a socialistic marxism um, um, communism to be under a fascist or a totalitarian regime what it would look like here in the united states it would come in as something good and a redistribution of wealth and and the common good and 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 some kind of green deal some kind of global you know uh, world system that needed to come together to heal our world so climate change is probably the one thing that they're going to be holding on to they have it like a the agenda 21 and the agenda which is now the agenda 2030 there's actually a date for it right so we need to come together very quickly to change the climate or think something horrible is going to happen in 2030, right? So I always say the same type of thing if you really take it all back to back when they were telling us not to use paper bags because of the trees. Now they're telling us not to use 
plastic bags, but they're telling you to buy thicker plastic bags or going back to paper bags, right? They're taking out straws, but then they're making more plastic on the cup, so it looks like a sippy cup. And there used to be global freezing, now there's, and then there was global warming, and now there's going to be, um, now just climate change, you know? So whatever the world has to come up with, so everybody will jump on board with this new Greentopia. That's what I call it, Greentopia because really does mankind ever usher in some kind of green paradise here on this this earth when man is desperately wicked so how can all these religions come together under one common goal to heal our world they are ushering in something but it is not the kingdom of god we inherit that kingdom if you're ushering anything in you're ushering in the kingdom of the antichrist so i would be really aware of that Mankind is, um, as a you know, Christian that's really out there um, standing on the Word of God, chapter by chapter, verse by verse, cover to cover, is going to be persecuted. So if you're conservative and you're Christian, you're going to start being called names, right? If you're even capitalist, you're going to be uh, carted off because you need to come along with the world system or they're going to silence you somehow. So what are they going to say? Hate speech. They're going to say that you're a fundamentalist, fundamentalist bigot. Um, man, you name it, they're going to slam the book at you and you might even have to go to jail, right? So, But I always think about what being a Christian is like, right? So what did it look like for Jesus? What did it look like for us all as apostles? Were they totally popular in this world? Or were they, you know, Jesus said, count the cost. Look at the Bible, read it all the way through. And there's so many people around the world that are being persecuted right now. They will not stand and they will not waver on the Bible and the truth because we're looking up and our redemption draws near so what is the world going to look like if you're in eschatology if you're not in eschatology start practicing it because if you stand back the world is not getting better it's getting worse and what is it going to look like before the world system takes over the one world order the new you know the economics is all coming together education is everybody's being brainwashed by the education right and that's done on purpose and it's funded into the seminary schools so the seminary school schools are also brainwashing everybody of course because cricket people are funding these systems and so they're bringing in their curriculum they're not christians right are they atheists are they satanists are they in some kind of secret society are they what does it look like? You need to step back and start asking the questions. What am I involved in? It sounds good. I'm going around and feeding people. I'm clothing people. I'm putting a roof over their head. I'm, I'm looking after the wells. I'm looking at the elephants. I'm um, planting trees. I'm um, eating great. I'm, I, I am making the world a better place. Yeah, we're supposed to be good stewards of what God has given us, but we don't start worshiping the earth, right? So that's Mother Earth. That's Gaia. So think about all those things that people are coming around today to putting the money into um, natural energy and sources like that. Do you know how much money it costs to put those things out? And if the wind's not blowing, the sun's not shining, then what's happening? What's going to happen if there's just like total darkness or, you know, if the wind's not blowing or those kind of things? And where are they coming up with the money to build all these natural systems and, and, and different things? And are, we, are people going to stop driving? And, you know, so I'm just thinking to myself, really start asking you that question. Does man have control of the climate? Look at the universe. How tiny is the earth and mankind? God is in control of everything. So all glory and honor is his. He's the one that does the good work. We are good stewards waiting and looking up as our redemption draws near. It's simple. Stand on the word of God. Be a biblicalist, a little translation of the Word of God. Next time we're going to be covering liberalism, talking a little bit about capitalism, talking a little bit about communitarianism and progressivism. Then that's all going to be in one segment. Next after that, as an, I'll go into talking about the environmentalism. That is going to be an interesting topic that will probably be a little longer. And then we'll always end with biblicalism. Stand on the word of God. And to look up because our redemption draws near. Thank you. Until next time.